Hello students, I want to introduce you to the online art portfolio for students called Artsonia. It's a website where we upload your artwork and it can be private for your family or public if you want people to see your art. They can order t-shirts and mugs and magnets for gifts if they ever want to. And it also shows your friend's art here at Grout. Hopefully, you can upload your art for your whole school career. So everything you make in art class can be something that you revisit online with Artsonia um, over the years in case it gets lost or damaged in your backpack. So this is how you do it. Go to an iPad station and find the little rainbow lowercase a for Artsonia. That is the app that you open. You make sure and check that your school is the right school on top. And then you can choose your grade level. Then you can find your teacher. And then you can find your own name. Once you find your name and click on it, I'm just gonna use random person here. And then I'll delete the art later. You can press the green button to go ahead and add new artwork into your portfolio. You might have some art in your portfolio from early on, you might not, but this is the day to begin. You press thumbs up if that is you, and then you are going to take a photo of your art. So right now it's open to camera, and I'm going to place my art in front of the iPad. I'm gonna make sure it's positioned very straight, and then I can move the iPad to make sure that the whole art is showing nice and clear. Look around all the sides of your art, and make sure none of it is going out of the screen. This can be tricky, here I'm holding it still. And when it's in focus, I push the camera button. If it's not in focus, you can always touch the screen, which will hopefully help it focus. Next, I'm gonna crop it. I chose the square crop because it will be easier to not distort my art. Um, there's different settings in the lower left to help you get the dots where you want and cut out any extra background information. And then you press next. When you're ready, press submit. There's another place where you can fine tune, but usually we don't do those kinds of edits. All right. It gives you a chance to enter a title for your art, just like a title for a book. I decide to call this dining room. And then I press submit. It gives you a chance to write a little bit about your art. Often we won't have time to do this in the classroom, but you can always add it later. There's some interesting questions you can answer about your favorite part of the art or something that surprised you or your most brilliant creative moment while making the art. I would love to know these things and so would your family. So if you have time to write a little bit about your art, it's really good. When you're done, go back up to that corner and press submit. Then you'll see all of your art inside of your portfolio. Make sure you log out so that the next person coming in doesn't accidentally upload their art into your portfolio. It should look like this when you've logged out and you're all done.